Imagine a world where you can create any video you want simply by describing it in words. Want to see a duel between pirate ships and a cup of coffee? Done. An astronaut stranded on a wintry planet? Easy. Historical footage of the California gold rush? No problem. This is the reality that Sora, OpenAI's astonishing new text-to-video system, is bringing to life. And it's about to change everything we thought we knew about video. Welcome to the brave new world of synthetic media, where the lines between real and fake, recorded and rendered, are blurring like never before. Yesterday, OpenAI, the company behind the groundbreaking ChatGPT, announced Sora, a system that can generate photorealistic one-minute-long videos from nothing more than a text prompt. The demos are mind-blowing. We see fantastical scenes straight out of science fiction and history books, conjured from thin air by the power of artificial intelligence. But we also see something more familiar, more intimate, clips that look like they could have been captured on anyone's smartphone. A group of friends at an outdoor restaurant in Lagos, Nigeria, circa 2056. The play of light and shadow on a train window as it speeds through the Tokyo suburbs. These videos, while not perfect, have a startling realism to them. They capture the texture of everyday life in a way that feels authentic, even if every pixel is machine generated. And that's because Sora doesn't just manipulate images. It understands in its own strange way the reality of the world it's simulating. According to OpenAI, Sora grasps how objects move and interact in physical space. It has a sense, however imperfect, of cause and effect. When it renders a scene, it's not just mashing together pixels, it's conceptualizing a three-dimensional world unfolding over time. In a sense, it's doing what our own minds do when we imagine or remember something. And that's what makes it so powerful. OpenAI has recently announced that Sora will be publicly available by the end of this year. For now, Sora is only available to a select group of testers, but it's a preview of what's to come, a glimpse of a future where synthetic video is as ubiquitous as text and images are today. And that future is going to change everything. Consider the implications. With a system like Sora, anyone could generate footage of anything they can imagine. Want to make a home movie featuring your family? but don't have your camera handy? Just prompt the AI. Need B-roll of a specific location for your film? Generate it. Want to visualize a scene from your novel or create a storyboard for your next ad campaign? Sora could do it in seconds. Of course, this power will inevitably be used for ill as well as good. Deep fakes, misinformation, and synthetic media weaponized for harassment will almost certainly proliferate but the genie is out of the bottle now. Synthetic video is here and we're going to have to learn to live with it. One of the most profound effects may be on how we think about video as a medium. For centuries, we've thought of video and film as a way of recording reality. A video was a document, a piece of evidence, a glimpse of something that really happened. But when video can be generated from nothing more than an idea, that certainty starts to erode. We may start to treat all video with the same kind of textual intuition we apply to the written word. Just as we understand that a novel is a constructed thing, a rendering of ideas rather than a literal record, we'll come to see video the same way. We'll interrogate its provenance, question its authenticity, and interpret it not as an objective slice of reality, but as an expression of the intentions behind it. In some cases, that shift may lead us to discount the importance of real video altogether. If you can generate a clip of the 2020 Beirut explosion from any angle, using nothing but existing footage and the power of AI extrapolation, why bother with the real thing? The synthetic version built from a robust data model may be just as valid a representation of the event. But in other cases, the rise of synthetic video may make us cherish the authenticity of the unedited clip all the more. In a world where anyone can generate a photorealistic scene, the value of real, serendipitous, imperfect footage of life as it's really lived may skyrocket. Imagine a future where your family memories are a mix of real videos you captured on your phone and synthetic clips you generated after the fact. Where movies and TV shows seamlessly blend recorded footage and AI-rendered scenery where news reports and documentaries have to be vetted not just for truthfulness, but for the provenance of their visuals. 
It's a world where the old categories, real and fake, authentic and artificial, start to break down. In this world, we'll have to develop new intuitions, new ways of reading the media we consume. We'll have to become savvier about the origins and intentions behind every clip. But we'll also be freed in some ways from the tyranny of the camera. No longer will our visual imagination be constrained by what we can physically record. We'll be able to render our mind's eye in photorealistic detail. This is the promise and the peril of systems like Sora. They're not just tools for generating cool clips. They're machines for making ideas manifest. And as they grow more powerful and more widespread, they'll force us to reckon with deep questions about the nature of perception, memory, and reality itself. So as we stand on the brink of this strange new era, it's worth taking a moment to reflect. The videos we watch, the clips we share, the visual memories we cherish, they've always been constructions in a sense. They're shaped by the perspective of the camera, the choices of the editor, the context in which they're viewed. But they've also, until now, been tethered to a physical reality. A light had to strike a lens, a sensor had to record a signal for a video to exist. With the advent of systems like Sora, that tether is starting to fray. We're entering a world where the raw material of video is not light and sound, but information and imagination. A world where the boundary between synthetic and authentic, between real and hyperreal, is growing ever thinner. It's a world that will be filled with wonders and horrors, with incredible creative possibilities and dystopian perils. And as we navigate this new landscape, we'll have to hold tight to our humanity, to our instincts for truth and empathy, our ability to find meaning in the imperfect and the unscripted. Because in the end, the real power of video has never been in its fidelity to some objective reality. It's been in its ability to connect us, to move us, to make us feel. And that power ultimately resides not in pixels or data, but in the human hearts and minds behind the camera and in front of the screen. So as the age of synthetic video dawns, let's not lose sight of what really matters. Let's harness these incredible new tools to tell stories, to express ideas, to forge connections. But let's also remember that the most meaningful moments in our lives, a child's first steps, a friend's laughter, a sunset that takes our breath away, will always be the ones we experience directly, unmediated by any screen. The future will be what we make it. And as we grapple with the implications of AI-generated video, let's make sure that future is one where our shared humanity, messy, complicated, and beautiful, remains at the center of the frame. As we plunge headlong into the strange new world that Sora and its successors are creating, that may be the most important thing to keep in focus. Because in the end, the true test of these technologies won't be how realistic they can make their simulations. It will be whether they can capture the essence of what makes us real. Do us a favor and please hit subscribe and maybe even tell a friend. Now let's keep the discussion going, taking a look at